All right, welcome to Araton Empire, still your G-Town boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of The High Gist. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no time for too much intro because today, Gist, I can't wait to dive in. We have a lot of shenanigans, penanigans, and renanigans happening. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be talking about matters arising in politics, Nollywood, and music industry. We have a lot. Chioma Chukuka don't come out to mock Tinibu and ladies and gentlemen, Tinibu challenge has been trending. We're talking about speech, Darlington, Inedo, Chidi, our daddy in the Lord, or Gabuari. Ladies and gentlemen, just stay tuned, stay glow because today's episode is full of shenanigans and penanigans. So ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to dive in. But please, before we dive in, subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Just stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so quickly, sharply. Let's dive into matters arising in the day. Firstly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of our daddy in the Lord, Ogatinimbu. APC have come out to deny the bullion van that entered Tinimbu's house in 2019. Now, <laughs> they are now bringing another strategy. And these people, they have come out to deny it. This is what they stated. They stated it that that bullion van that entered Tinibu's house during 2019 election, that bullion van <laughs> misplaced his route. That, that bullion van that entered Tinibu's house was a mistake. That bullion van was not supposed to enter Tinibu's house. It was only looking for his true location, but it entered Tinibu's house. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you guys recall that on, in 2019, during the election, Bullion Van entered Tinibu's house that generated a lot of shenanigans on social media. Nigerians started speculating that why is it that Bullion Van go to enter Tinibu's house full of money? What is going on? Which Tinibu himself came out and made it clear that that Bullion Van, whatever that is in that Bullion Van is his money. Whatever way they inside that bullion van, he owns whatever that is in that bullion van. It doesn't belong to Nigerians or the government. He is not working for the government. So Nigerians should be a dean. We should stop talking about the bullion van. Tinubu came out and made it clear that that bullion van was coming to him and that bullion van belongs to him. Now, fast forward to 2023. Because now they don't they one win the election. APC now don't come at talks and make no mind Tinibu that Tinibu is misyani. <laughs> you see, this Nigeria, if you think you have seen it all, then I'm sorry. You are clearly out of Nigeria. Because these people they can manipulate and unmanipulate things just to make sure that they get that selfish desire what they want. I see, I don't know which in these people that they think. I don't know if they think that we are kids. Honestly speaking, Bullion Van that entered Tinibu house. Tinibu came out and made it clear that that Bullion Van is his Bullion Van. Any money that is in that Bullion Van is his own. Now, if people don't come out now, they tell us, say, that Bullion Van mistake his roots. It wasn't going to Tinibu's house, it was a mistake. We shouldn't mind Tinibu. Hello? Someone catching feelings? These people, hmm, we need to be serious. You see this election? We need to be serious. Because if we don't vote wisely, this is what we'll keep on hearing. Each time, each day. Ladies and gentlemen, quickly, sharply, still on the issue of our daddy in the Lord, Tinibu. Let's talk about Chioma Chukuka. Chioma Chukuka, the popular Nollywood actress, has generated a lot of oozing buzzing on social media because of the challenge when it bring out with one little kid. Ladies and gentlemen, when I watched it, I was cracking my ribs out. 
because that challenge has been trending. Men of Lasha just a carry the talk. Oh, yeah, run it. <laughs> ah, God. It's really funny. Honestly, this challenge has been trending on social media and it's really, really funny. It has been cracking us up. And let's be sincere, ever since Tinibu started campaigning for this election, Tinibu has been trending more than our superstars. Tinibu now, the kind of trend when they bring out, the kind of challenges when they bring out, it'd be very funny. <laughs> Baba blue, 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 Bolabai. That is the new challenge now that we have, and it has been trending. You see, Nigeria, I so much love this country because once you have data, you will never go sad. Nigeria, it be cruise. So, ladies and gentlemen, although our politicians, they are showing us shaggy, but in all these things, we need to be happy. We need to make fun of it also. Ladies and gentlemen, now, quickly, Shapale, let's dive into matters arising in the camp of Potebo de Zazu. <laughs> Potebo is someone that I know that that guy, he's playing. And whenever he come out on social media, he they talk within day his mind. He know they try to manipulate his speech. He they talk him the way he is. Recall that days ago, Portable came out and called out this famous Nigerian producer, um, music producer, TG. Portable came out and called him for, for asking him to pay a whooping sum of $160-something for just a music video. So after Portable called him as, Nigerians started reacting to it that why this guy go they charge that kind of huge amount. So this guy came out and made it clear that even he's not even charging portable for the real price when he they charge. He gave portable a discount and for him to prove it, he posted the new amount when he charged Asake. So we were all shocked allies. Now portable has come out to reply him. And ladies and gentlemen, Portable came out and made it clear that if this guy is actually expecting that him, Portable, go count 37 million naira, pay him for just a music video, what music video, then he's dreaming. It'd be like Joseph with a dream that how can he bring out 37 million naira to pay for one music video when mama never chop, Becky never chop. Side chick never chop, evil spirit never chop. You want to be no bless, I just carry the talk. I run it. Ladies and gentlemen, Portable is a comedian. I keep saying it. That guy, 
<laughs> so, but let's be sincere. Portable, this this producer never forced you. You only contacted him for a music video, and he don't tell you his price. Now it's left for you to accept or decline. Stop calling him on social media like say he don't do something bad. This is his price. If you like it, pay. If you don't like it, shift. It's as simple as that. So stop calling him on social media. Go to another person and shoot music video. It's as simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, now quickly, Shapali, let's talk about INEC and Nigerians who don't get power. Nigerians have taken to the streets of Lagos. Nigerians don't bust out, tear their clothes, wear the, uh, the garments of protest and violence. They went straight to the INEC office and they, are, they have been protesting. We no go agree, oh, we no go agree. Give us our PVC, we no go agree. Ladies and gentlemen, let me play you the clip, then we can come back and dissect the issue. You see, Nigeria is far from metaqualism. But we'll talk that one later. May no bless I just decided it. Talk! Ladies and gentlemen, honestly speaking, this is very sad. You know, after this clip went viral, a lot of socialites has been deliberating and they have been commenting about this issue that this thing has been happening and is mainly in in Lagos and Southeast that I neck people go come out to register for their PVC after registering. INEC will never give them their PVC. That is how these people, they will keep on delaying their PVC until people will get tired of going for their PVC and leave their PVC. Politicians, they are just looking for a way to frustrate the East, frustrate the Igbos, so that they can come out and vote for the candidate they want to vote for. But if you go to the North, these things doesn't happen there. Once you register, you get your PVC, very fast, as easy as it is. But when it comes to Southeast, is a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria, we need to be, we need to speak up. We need to speak up. Because it's very bad that people will waste their time, waste their energy, waste their resources to, to register for their PVC, only for you people to keep on delaying their PVC. Sometimes you, you go there, you'll be frustrated because you keep on hearing stories that touches the kidney. It's either they tell you that your PVC is missing or maybe you are missing your PVC. These stories is what you keep on hearing. Please, I make they should give them their PVC because these are the people that want change. They want to vote. Please. Now, quickly, Shapale, let's talk about our Nollywood actress, Omotala. Omotala came out and she said something where I think say they make sense. And I decided to bring it to you guys so that we will deliberate about it. Then we will realize that this is our Nigeria. We are not getting it right. Quickly, Shapali, this is what Omotala says. And I'll see many things we manage and let's slide. It's just craziness. I am deeply frustrated at the, at the depth and volume of needless suffering Nigerians go through every day. Record that Amatala relocated to US and ever since then she has been there. Now she came back to Nigeria and ladies and gentlemen, he came back to the past of what she has been experiencing. And she came out and she made it clear that listen, some things where they suffer for this country is needless. 
is needless. Nigerians, we are suffering so much. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go out there, you, you realize that most of the things where they suffer for, most of the things where they pray for, it be the government where they do them. It's government that does all those things. But in Nigeria, we suffer so much for needless things or meaningless things. Something that the government was supposed to bring to your doorstep, you will go and queue. Listen, eh? it's very sad that you go suffer to get your money. Suffer to put it in the bank. You go still suffer. Stand on long queue to withdraw your money. You will stay under the sun. Just because you want to withdraw your money, wait, suffer, suffer to get. And if you are fortunate or unfortunate enough, and if you are unfortunate enough, before you go get your turn, money go finish for the ATM. Your wasted suffering has gone for nothing. Every downturn in Nigeria, you suffer for it. Look at how people are queuing. Sometimes you go come three days, four days, you'll be standing. No seats, nothing. Standing under the sun, waiting for PVC. Anything you want to register in Nigeria, you go suffer for. You go suffer for traffic. You go suffer, ladies and gentlemen, you go suffer for bad road, bad weather, bad electricity. That's why we keep saying it. A quiet unfortunate that Nigeria has got into this unmetabolism, but we can still change it. An election don't they come? It's simple. I can't keep on talking about it all the time. Election don't they come? Make sure you get your PVC. Don't sell your vote. Don't sell your conscience. No, they go vote with hunger. Vote with your sense. Vote for the right candidate because we need to change this our system. Every down thing with the suffer for inside. Ladies and gentlemen, make with they get sense now. Because Nigeria, they for dying minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. It's over. May we. Alright guys, so that will be on today's episode and you know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued, stay connected because I'm coming back with another interesting, innovating, captivating, anything team, 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 team. Just hold on because a lot of shenanigans are still unfolding and I'll be bringing it to your doorstep. But please, try to subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button and don't forget, like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated Anytime, any day, I upload. And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Thanks for watching. Jobless!